Hi, it's Jordan here with yet again another polishing video using the RAW products. And today I've brought my Aston Martin up to the RAW training centre and we're giving the paintwork a little bit of TLC. Since I bought this car in June, July time, I have gave it a quick tickle over with some polishers and waxes, but I've never gave it a full paint correction or detail, as some of you may call it. So today was a perfect opportunity to take a look at the latest car detailing range from RAW. We're going to be using the full detailing range, along with their new polishers and the new DA polisher that's out, along with some of the other bits and bobs that we've got coming up on their range as well. So first of all we tackled this wing. As you can see the scratches on the wing are pretty deep to be fair. I don't know how it looks on camera that well um, but there was very deep and I was actually a little bit worried. I thought we would actually have to sand these out as best as we could and repaint the wing. So what we did is we went over the scratches very quickly with some uh, P3000 and we thought you know let's just see what happens so we went over the P3000 with two passes with the C101 and this is the cutting compound uh, on the range so the C101 and the C102 are both cutting compounds however the 101 is just a li little bit more aggressive so we went with that one first and like I say two passes and we was done with the 101 um, when I say two passes basically I mean um, two going overs with uh, the compound so basically put some compound on my pad go over the area with that once until it's dried out how it looks now and then wipe it with a microfiber and go over it once more so that is what our class is two passes not just two passes as in backwards and forwards with the polishing machine so as you can see after just the first pass it has actually brought it up to a very nice finish and this was actually the first time I used it on um, you know an area that we actually sanded down and you can see with the reflection on the wing it's brought it up perfectly I'm so surprised how well this compound is and if some of you know the raw compounds from a body shop use you may know the raw 610 and a lot of people are probably going to be asking if this is similar to 610 and it's not these compounds are different to the body shop use compounds that reason being obviously we are working to a finer detail with these compounds um, as detailers would be rather than body shops so this compound is not raw 610 um, I've tried it myself side by side um, you know they don't even smell the same they're not even the same type of thickness you know they are different um, and the guys at RAW also mentioned that they are very much different um, themselves in terms of how they're made up it uses different type of components within these ones that are more dedicated towards the detail inside of things which does make sense so we're now going over the wing with a second pass um, I'm putting medium pressure on here um, it's a, a very strange uh, wing it's there's lots of curves so it's just catching me out every so often it looks like I'm putting a lot of pressure on but I'm not really just just medium pressure um, the paintwork on the Aston is not soft but it is it, it can get a little bit soft in the in the Sun um, it is renowned for Aston's to be like this so um, I'm not putting too much pressure on for that reason as well so that is um, two passes with the C101 I could use the C102 if I wanted instead of the C101 um, but I just kind of don't know I've really taken with the C101 so I'll just use that as my uh, first step really and now I'm going over with a DA polisher um, with the yellow pad and this is with the C103 so the C103 is the next step down from the uh, 101 and this is a medium to fine cutting compound I believe and basically this one is just a finishing compound it's very much to remove swirl marks and you know light hazes out the panel maybe some microfine scratches um, it's just a very fine finishing compound really 
Um, so I'm basically going over this um, because I've actually gone over the whole car with this now just to, because um, it was actually battered in quite a few swirl marks actually all over the car um, so I'm just following the process as I've done with the rest um, and this just helps remove the swirl marks and it gets it to a very nice um, polished surface without having any um, defects or swirl marks left behind which you would get from a rotary um, which then leads me to uh, the question about the rotary polisher and the DA this is actually probably my first time using a DA on a full job actually like this um, I've never been a fan for them but then again I've come from a body shop background so we've always you know pretty much stayed with rotaries um, as with most body shops so this is pretty much you know something different for me and I have seen the benefits and I do agree that you know DA polishers are the way forward if you're wanting to work towards that finer detail so yeah basically a, a big hint really and tip for the body shops is you know definitely get yourself as a DA polisher and you know even when you're just finishing your polishing off with you know even if you're using a raw um, 620 for example you know you're using a fine finishing uh, compound you know just go over it with a DA polisher it makes a massive difference over a rotary so as you can see now we've gone over it with the C101 and the C103 and it's brought it up to a, a very very nice finish actually um, just got a bit of uh, dodgy edges where we've put the masking tape so I'm just going to flick over those with the 103 and please don't look at my horrible paint protection film I'm actually going to get this removed at some point and I'm going to get the whole front end of the car um, the whole panels done at some point uh, but I've just not had time yet um, but yeah that paint protection film is horrendous but like I say we'll get that sorted at some point maybe over the uh, winter break now it's in the garage so that is basically um, how to remove scratches um, from a panel very easy using the raw compounds and I hope this video has been of use to you I have been talking non-stop but I just wanted to cram everything into a video instead of doing a really long 20 minute video like I have with some of the others um, but definitely give these compounds a try whether you're a body shop or a detailer if you're working towards that finer detail on your surfaces and you just want to you know just get that extra gloss and that extra final finish without those swirls you know really you know give this range a try and I think you will like it um, the video is pretty much unedited and what you see is what you get really so I hope this helps and take a look at some of the other videos that I've got on the YouTube channel um, and I hope they'll be of some use to you thank you very much for watching make sure you like and subscribe to the video